everybody. Hickok 45 here on a snowy cold day. I'm going to do a little chapter 2 action with the SIG P229 40 caliber. Okay, you've seen this one go and, and uh, well, you've seen an action. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. And it's a pretty nice old gun, a little different. Uh, and uh, we'll talk just a little bit about it, but in a chapter 2, you know what we do? We load magazines and we shoot. Okay, we thought it might be kind of interesting to do the chapter 2 with the range snow covered. Uh, you know, whether I was in the mood or not to shoot the old, uh, sit, which you know, I'm always in the mood to shoot, but we thought, let's get something out and do a chapter two and just, uh, hammer away over here at, uh, various targets that, uh, have a nice background of white snow and, uh, you know, SIG is one we've not done a chapter two with, so let's just shoot the thing some more. But, uh, let me get used to it again. You know, I shoot so many different guns, I have to kind of get, uh, I was missing the plates there because I was shooting them underneath them and I uh, have to reorient myself to each firearm. It's, it's kind of neat, good education for me, right? So, the SIG, nice gun and a fairly expensive gun, as you know, SIGs, they don't come cheap and uh, many of you love them. I've got some S&B ammo here, I've not shot this in 40, I don't think, or have a I'm going to try to keep that separate from the other in case uh, we do have any trouble with it. Not that I'm sure I've had this a long time in a stash. It's a little different, a little bit of a contour there. But uh, no, it all worked fine. You know, I've never had any trouble with uh, this brand. If I recall, I haven't shot a lot of it. All right. So, this is late. So, I'll just remember which mags have the SMB in it. And so, okay, I'm not going to rehash everything about the SIG. They're really well-made guns. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I, uh, you know, the, the only negatives on this gun are that uh, that's double single action to start out with. And, of course, it has a little bit higher bore axis than some other guns. And it's, it's, a, it's a chunky little gun. It's a little bit heavy, but uh, that makes it shoot, shoot sweet. They take kind of, I guess, uh, the M&P Smith & Wesson takes a similar... Old approach. Their uh, their slides are a little bit thicker and heavier than some others, and in the 40, that you end up with a gun that you know is a little bit uh, softer recoiling if you have a heavy slide, and you can tell that with the Sig, uh, just as with the M&P. So those aren't necessarily negatives, uh, positives for a lot of people, and uh, just well-made firearms, no doubt about it. I like a consistent trigger that's the same for every shot, uh, but uh, you know it can learn to shoot this thing a lot of people do uh, so let's see what was it? it was something else i was going to mention about this i forgot what it was it doesn't matter i'll think of it maybe okay i know what it is it's so cold out here that uh oh, my brain's freezing up okay now these are the s and b's i'll uh i'll shoot those first so i'll know what i have okay see if there's any difference all right let's just take a few shots Oh, I know what I was going to say. I've had a few comments from people whenever I talk about that on this gun and, uh, well, the Beretta, any gun that has a double to single action on the first pull. And, yeah, and in fact, I've had a few smart remarks like uh, Hickok, you know, you could just cock the gun, you know, before you shoot it the first time. Duh. You know, well, what I'm talking about is if all you ever do is shoot at the range, I guess that, that's not a big deal. But a lot of us have an orientation where we're coming from a holster, maybe even carrying, carry permits and that sort of thing. Police, you know. So you're not going to put a, a SIG, it's clear. You're not going to put a SIG in your holster cocked and hot like that. You know, see where that's going to be legal. With a police department, any kind of shooting competition, there, there's like nothing there. There's no safety, there's no thumb safety, there's nothing. You've got a hot round, you know, under that hammer and the hammer is cocked. You know, so... It's nothing like a 1911 where you have a thumb safety plus a grip safety and you know, all that. Uh, so, uh, you know, that, that's not going to happen. So that's what I'm getting at. Nebretta, same way. You're not going to be carrying that thing around cocked. So when I say that, that's kind of my orientation is what I'm talking about. There's no way to practically carry it uh, and get the same trigger pull each time. All right. So I think I took a couple shots before we started this, and I think I uh, have kind of got the idea that... Uh, I do shoot this gun differently. If I miss, I tend to miss to the right, I noticed sometimes here. So, let's put a round in. Decock it. Does have the decocker. Remember, it's a SIG. Put in the holster. Woo. All right. This is good training. Good cold weather. 
I mean, it is under freezing. It's well under. I think the high today was 31, so it's going down now. Pretty good. All right. It does have a nice single action pull. It has a nice brake. It's very light trigger. Uh, let's go out long. I don't know if the animals, I'll, I'll start on the gong anyway, but I don't know if the animals will fall today. They're frozen onto those stands, I'm sure. Unless I get the 4570 back out. We had it out earlier. Okay. Where do I hold? There, I guess. Oops, I'm empty. I am empty. No, I'm not. I thought I had one more mag. There it is. This is in my pocket. Why'd I do that? Uh-oh. There's a bad guy right here close that's about to get me. <laughs> All right. It's a little mushy. Ah, we got to load up again. This is fun. We'll maybe try for a couple of animals. Uh, I don't think they'll fall, but uh, we'll, we'll see. They have been frozen solid. We had freezing rain, then we had uh, snow on top of that. Not a lot of freezing rain, but uh, that really, really does a job on them because sometimes a 40 won't knock them over anyway. Sometimes nothing will knock them over short of a hot rifle, heavy rifle round. So this is the SMB. Uh, I'm not sure I know the same difference there. Generally speaking, you don't. You know, if you're loading 180 grain bullets, Go pick up eight different boxes of, you know, practice round, range rounds, and 180 grain. And they're going to hit generally the same place. You're not going to notice something generally, you know, dramatically different. It's just not going to happen. Uh, particularly when, you know, the biggest variable is the shooter and the, the trigger and all that. You know, if you... You're going to shoot one high or low or left or right. It's, uh, it's, it's the shooter. It's the trigger. Those are what make the big difference. So, unless I see a trend with, with a certain brand of ammo, uh, it's usually not, not that. Now, if you change your bullet weight, you can see some difference. As I've said before, really hot, light ammo at, at close ranges, moderate ranges, uh, tends to shoot lower. The recoil of the gun doesn't throw it up as much. It's out the barrel before the recoil has any effect on it. And that's just a generalization, but it's, uh, it's usually true. Now, as you get further out, it can be just the opposite. Because it's a lot hotter, a lot faster around, with a lot more behind it. It may not drop as fast, you know, it, it, out there at longer ranges. So those are all those weird things you have to keep in mind. Okay. Good old SIG. A lot of fun shooting a, a quality firearm on a, a nice warm day. You know? Let's see if we can get any precision on the, the day like today. Okay, we're hot. Let's go ahead and cock it. Let me go for Mr. Close Pig here. <laughs> I should be able to see where I'm missing with this snow. Of course, I should be an optimist and not even say miss. I'm a cinema I'm not going to miss. Alright. I'll try the other one, see if he'll fall. to be hit first in minor detail. 
minor detail. <laughs> okay. Can't just fool around, shoot fast with this gun, that's for sure. I need to really bear down. Let's go up to that top pig, see if he'll fall. No. Oh, I'm gonna hit him first. Uh, Mr. Turkey over there might fall. All right, thank you. other pigs yeah messing around here too fast <laughs> All right, we got a couple of them off their uh, off their feet. Woo! What else needs shot here? Oh, ten cans. Didn't see them. Looks like I didn't see them then either, did I? <laughs> you know, with this gun, it's really unusual. Uh, normally, when you miss, most of us that are right-handed. We uh, pull just a hair left, low left usually. With this gun, I, uh, I, I tend to shoot right, as you probably have noticed uh, with my misses here. You can see them better than I, I can when John zoomed. Uh, most of the time, they go to the right or a little bit higher, at least I think. And right there, I was uh, just shooting off the upper right corner of that can just consistently. And I was, I mean, I was sort of focusing, you know. <laughs> so well, let's see what we can do here just being aware of what you're doing uh, when you miss is 90% uh, of the battle and then just focusing on it trying to do better trying to do better and improve yourself improve your shooting all right let's see what we can do with those cans here with a little bit of focus <laughs> all right That's better, right? Okay. Woo! Loud. Alright, a couple more magazines of fun. Okay. <laughs> pretty sweet pretty sweet one more magazine what should i do with it let's see what should i do let's just hammer something oh i know what we have a cinder block we haven't finished on let me put a few on him i better back up just a little bit all right Almost forgot about that guy. Yeah, okay, so chapter two, SIG P229, 40 caliber.
you know, even on a snowy day when it's really cold, uh, happiness is a warm gun, warms you up, doesn't it? So, chapter two, PT29, that was pretty much fun. Glad you guys could stop by, you know, in the snow and kind of watch and uh, hopefully enjoy too. So, enjoy the fact that uh, life is good. <laughs>